Most people out there though, they forgetting about that one thing. And that one thing is, what up y'all man, C-Kid here man. And uh, I legit think I messed up and wasted $700 on the eight gigabyte RAM version of the Mac mini instead of actually buying the 16 gigabyte RAM version of the Mac Mini. But stick around on this video, man, because I'm gonna be telling you guys why I feel that you need to go with the 16 gig over the eight gig. Although the eight gigabytes of RAM can, you know, that version can do most things, but I think that's one thing that most people out there are forgetting about when it comes to buying the new M1 Mac Mini and uh, we're gonna talk about it in this video. What up, y'all? So if you guys are coming from my previous video, man, where I talked about some of the things that I'm personally struggling with when it comes to this M1 Mac Mini, just some of the issues that I'm having with it, I'll link that video down in the description section below for you guys to actually check out, and you can watch it right after this video. Now, eight gigabytes of RAM, guys, is cool. Don't get me wrong, these new chips are handling it well when it comes to opening up a number of applications that you guys out there may be running. Now, most people out there, though, they forgetting about that one thing, and that one thing is long-term effects of not having enough RAM. All right, so say that you're somebody out there, man, and you either are thinking about buying a new M1 Mac Mini or you're just thinking about buying an Apple product in general, specifically computers, most people plan on keeping them for about five plus years. Now think about it like this, over that five year period, most likely you would have done several projects on it. You probably downloaded a bunch of stuff on that system internally, which I've already told you guys in previous videos, I'm against it, but you know, do you. And you've probably legit pushed that machine to its limit a bunch of freaking times. And over time, guys, this is gonna have serious effects on how the memory of your machine is actually read from the processor because it may have things that you don't even know that is running in the background that could literally be eating up that RAM without you actually even knowing about it. Because most of the time, man, it's something that we've downloaded or we've just end up downloading that we don't even know it is basically running something in the background that is eating up a chunk of your RAM. So imagine having a bunch of stuff that you don't even know that's running in the background over this five year plus period, as well as on top of that, you're editing videos, you're browsing, you know, with multiple web browsers open, or you're running multiple uh, music applications, you're running YouTube videos and notes app and all of these different applications. And all of this requires RAM. Now I feel that having more RAM is always the way to go because you never want to have a machine where you might be working on something and you just end up don't have enough RAM to be able to handle having a bunch of applications open at one time. So for me in the beginning, when I was actually buying this machine right here, I was like, you know what? Maybe the eight gigabyte RAM version was probably be good because of this new M1 chip that's in it. It's more optimized for the RAM is now all built onto the chip instead of being separate. And don't get me wrong, man, the M1 chip is a beast. It can literally handle a lot of different things. But I just wonder with me only having eight gigabytes of RAM for long-term use, will it be enough for three to five years of use down the line because like I said I would hate to not be able to open applications and such things because I don't have enough memory stored for the processor to be able to read my data and the machine just starts running slow and I'm not able to actually get work done that I need to get done and now with the machine actually running slow then I run into the situation where I'm gonna have to actually sell my m1 8 gigabyte RAM version uh, for cheaper then still have to buy the 16 gigabyte RAM version now I'm out of $700 plus the additional thousand plus dollars that I would need to spend been to upgrade to the higher RAM version because Apple no longer allows you guys to be able to go to Micro Center, go buy more RAM, upgrade it and install it yourself because all of it is built onto that M1 chip, making it that you can now only upgrade your RAM through Apple when it comes to buying your new Mac product. When in the beginning, I look at it like, man, I would have been cool if I would have just spent the thousand dollars and save myself the headache of now running around and running out of memory, having to sell it to someone for way less than I paid for it, then having to come out of more money, specifically a thousand plus dollars more because of the mistake of me not thinking of the long-term uh, benefits of not having enough RAM when I could have just saved my money instead of buying this right out of the gate. So let's say that you're someone out there right now, man, and you guys are in a situation where you're wanting the new M1 Mac mini and you only have $700 to spend, then I would say this to you have patience and continue stacking your bread until you guys can afford the 16 gigabytes of RAM version because over time that eight gigabytes of RAM version is just not gonna be enough and I feel like in the end, you're gonna be upset and you're gonna be how I am right now. And I don't want that for you guys. And you guys out there probably are thinking to yourself, well, see kid, I don't do all of the video editing, photo editing and all of that stuff that you guys, that you are doing on your machine. Trust me, that doesn't matter. Having more RAM is always a smarter option when it comes to purchasing a machine 
machine because it allows the machine to be able to do multiple things at one time, increasing the level of productivity that you guys can get out of your machine and keeping it just running smooth like butter. So I say all that to say this, if you guys are looking to buy the new M1 Mac mini, get the 16 gigabyte version and save money on the internal storage section of it and buy an external SSD hard drive and save things on that that are outside of the internal application. Now, if you guys are wanting some suggestions of SSDs, I'll have some that I recommend to you guys down in the description section below. But yeah, guys, over time, man, 16 gigabyte RAM version is the way to go over the eight gig. Well, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video, man. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, all of that good stuff like that. But I want you guys to check out my next video that I did where uh, I'm showing you guys some of the things that I personally am struggling with when it comes to the new M1 Mac Mini that I feel that you guys need to be aware of. Check out the video right here on the screen and I'll see y'all over there. Peace. Yo, why you still here? Yo fam, click on the video, bro. <laughs>